evening. How are you? Hi, thank you, and you? I'm fine too. Even though it is raining in my neighborhood, but I am okay. I am uh, praying to God that the rain is not going to be so, uh -huh. you know, uh, how can I say, so heavy as yesterday because it was a chaos in some places, right? Yeah. Okay. So welcome. And how was your day? Tell me. Uh, it was exhausted because, but uh, I was working at night and I was sleeping all day. Oh, you, and now you are in the night shift. Yes, yeah. you are at yeah. work. Yes. Ah, okay. So you, tomorrow you finish at 6 a.m. Okay, and then you go home and you have all your day off, but it is not the same, right? My breakfast and after I, I slept all the morning, uh -huh. I'm going to bring a pick up my, my daughter at the school. To the school, ah, it is nice because you have that chance, yeah? Yes. To pick and her from school. I, I sleep two hours more. You slept two more hours, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Very well. So um, have you ever, have you ever uh, stayed, uh, you know, without sleeping for more than 10 or 12 hours? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. So now we're going to get started because we need to take advantage of the connectivity, right? Mm -hmm. And here we go. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you. And let's expect that some other partners can be able to join to the class, okay? Because sometimes the connectivity doesn't help. And here we go, okay? Yes, this is the one. Okay, so today is our session number 15, and we have this objective. I'm going to ask you as every single day, okay? So you can help me reading the objective for today. Okay. Okay, would you please be my guest? Yes, um, right now. Right now, yes. Okay. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural. By linking final T and D sound in bird with the vowel that should follow. That follow very well. So if you remember yesterday, we practiced a little bit with the pronunciation for T and D, right? And now we're going to continue with that. And here you have the same objective in Spanish, but we have the topic linked sounds. If you remember yesterday, I was telling you that some phrases go together, yes? yes. Especially some modisms. And here, okay, let's move. If you remember, we uh, listened to this video yesterday and we practice the pronunciation with the present perfect tense. Have you ever tasted it? Tasted, tasted goat cheese. Tasted, the pronunciation is with D. Tasted. Have you ever tried? D is the pronunciation, final pronunciation. Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you brought, brought, have you brought your dictionary today? Pronunciation with T. Have you read? the latest Harry Potter book yet. Here, the point that I was uh, telling you yesterday about was that in this verb, particularly, we have the same spelling for simple present, simple past, and past participle. The only thing is that you need to change the pronunciation, okay? In this case, we say red. And now, uh, we're going to continue, but 
Hello, Jocelyn, welcome. Hello, Jocelyn, welcome. Good to have you here. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome, welcome, miss. And now, as I was telling your partner, and I don't know if you were able yesterday, Jocelyn, to listen to this uh, video. ¿Escuchó este video ayer, Jocelyn? No, teacher, es que no me pude conectar al clase porque mucho tráfico y no vine bien noche a la casa. I don't believe you that there was traffic yesterday. No le creo que ayer había tráfico. Es que se había caído un árbol yes, en medio de I la know. Yes, I know. Everywhere, almost. Yeah, it was a chaos. I was telling that to Eliseo that uh, after the class, I was uh, checking the WhatsApp and some of my coworkers were, were, they were texting and they were sharing some pictures and it was, you know, horrible, right? But thank God you are okay. And you got home safe. Okay, so here I'm going to play it so you can have an idea of what we did yesterday. And here we go, okay? Hi, in this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Okay, here the purpose is that we join the two sounds. Cooked it. We don't say I've already cooked it. No, cooked it. Cooked it. Let's listen. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. And also something else that we need to point out is this. Hmm, let's see. Okay, here. Notice this. Oh my God. Okay. Notice that we have here, I've is the contraction for I have. But here I tried it. I tried it. This is present perfect. And this is the simple past tense, okay? So we were contrasting those tenses yesterday. Now let's continue. Now I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay. So this is what we were practicing yesterday, if you remember, right? And now here, hello, Jeremy and Claudia, welcome. Now I have over here a set of questions and some sentences that I'm going to share with you because I need you to answer them, to write the answers. And later you're going to be interviewing your partners, okay? And here is what the presenter was telling you. I've cut it, cut it together, cut it. I've, I've, not I, uh, no, I've. Yes, I've cut it. Yes, I've cut it. I've, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Cut it. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to ask Eliseo, please ask the first question to Jocelyn. This one, have you ever, the one in the one in yellow, the first bullet. Okay. Jocelyn, have you ever tasted goat cheese? No, I haven't. Excellent. Now, uh, Eliseo, ask the second bullet question to Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Jeremy. Hello, teacher. Same, okay. same. Are you ready? Have you ever tried uh, Korean food? No, no, I, no, I haven't. Okay, great. Now, Eliseo, ask the third question to Claudia. Claudia, how you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't. Okay, 
Now, Jocelyn, read the last question. Have you ever read blah, blah, blah? And Eliseo is going to answer to you. Okay. Eliseo, have you read the blessed Harry Potter book yet? No, I haven't. Okay, the latest is the only thing, okay? The latest, el más okay. reciente. The latest Harry Potter book yet. All the answers were negative, okay? And at the end, if you remember, you were, uh, well, we were asking and answering questions with real information, right? Now I have this set of questions for you to practice. And in some cases, you have to complete the sentences with your real information, okay? So here, have you been to any good restaurant lately? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Or yes, I've already been to a, to a good restaurant lately. Or no, I haven't been to any good restaurant uh, lately. Have you ever eaten lobster before? I am in my, according to your age, you're going to say, I am in my 20s or in my 30s or in my 40s. It depends, but I think that you're going to be in your 20s. And then you're going to describe your hair. I have, for example, straight hair to end, to end okay? and you have long, black, short, curly, in this case, straight is liso, right? Or you say curly, wavy, and uh, you describe your hair. Now, how many times have you lost your cell phone? How many times have you lost your keys? Have you ever driven a bus? How long have you lived with your parents? How long have you listened to music? How long have you practiced your English? Have you ever spoken English with a native speaker? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Have you ever traveled by plane? Have you ever tried Cuban food? Cuban food. Have you finished the activities in the platform? Okay, so you're going to answer these uh, questions. And in the case of number three and number four, you are going to complete with your real information according to your age and here according to your her. Okay, do you have any question about this activity? No, no, questions. no questions. Okay, I'm going to share it. I'm going to have it here. I'm going to be showing it here, but I'm going to share it with you via WhatsApp too, okay? In case that you have any problem with the connectivity. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Because we need to practice and later on, this is going to be the basis for the speaking, okay? You're going to be asking and answering these questions. So here, and now let me see. Here. Okay, there you are guys. And now I'm going to show them over here. And when you are done, when you finish writing your answers, you just let me know, okay? Teacher, I'm done, teacher finished, and we're going to start with the speaking practice, okay? Let's do it. I think that probably five minutes are okay.
Remember, if you have any question or doubt, don't hesitate to ask me. Si hay alguna duda o pregunta, sin ningún temor pregunte, okay? Don't be shy. What is the meaning lobster? Langosta. Uh, thank you. Okay. My pleasure. So sorry. Good evening, Denise. How are you? Welcome. Do you listen to me? Me escucha, Denise. Good evening, teacher. Ah, okay, yes. great. Sí, estaba teniendo problemitas usted, ¿verdad? Porque lo vi con dos the dispositivos. Okay. I have problem the connection. Yes, probably because of the rain. But anyways, I'm going to explain to you what we are doing, right? If you notice, we I have shared this set of questions with you via WhatsApp. And you have to answer these questions with real information. But in number three and number four, you have to complete with your real information. They are not questions. They are simple sentences. For instance, you may say, I am 
I am in my 20s or I am in my 30s. And, eh, de acuerdo a su edad, ¿verdad? Eh, estoy en 20 o en mis 30. Um, I have, and you're going to describe your hair. Vamos a describir nuestro cabello. A straight hair, you may say um, long brown a straight hair, or I have a short um, curly, short curly, I don't know, blonde or black hair or brown hair according to your reality, okay? And the other questions, okay? From one to 15. And later you are going to go to the breakout rooms in order to ask and answer the questions to your partners. When you finish, you tell me, teacher, I'm done and we'll go over the practice. And if you have any question, you ask me, okay? Si hay alguna duda pregunta, Agarla. Don't be shy. Lobster, the meaning of lobster. Have you ever eaten lobster? Um, langosta. ¿Alguna vez has comido langosta? Antes, ya antes, alguna vez antes ya has comido langosta. So probably we are going to eat at the moment. Lobster, right? Okay. Si tiene dudas o preguntas, no duden en hacer la tenis. Ok.
Are you done, Eliseo? Finished. Finished. Okay, great. Very well. We're going to uh, wait for the partners two more minutes. I think the cell phone is ringing. Your cell phone. Very well, class. Now we're going to try to standardize the answers for the people who were absent yesterday and probably the day before yesterday because of different reasons. In the first one, we have different possibilities to answer. Have you been to any good restaurant lately? So the potential answers for that question would be, okay, if, we ask class, okay? Um, for number one, only the potential answers and you tell me. If I ask you class, have you been to any good restaurant lately? Okay, so probably you answer to me in affirmative, short affirmative, yes, I have, okay? Now in negative, no, I haven't. Yes or no? No, I haven't. But in full form, the answers to the question, have you been to any good restaurant lately? Have you been, okay? Have you been to any good restaurant lately? In full answer, yes. I've already been to a good restaurant. 
Yes or no? If you remember, this is what we were practicing yesterday, right? And what about negative? No, full, full answer. No, I've, or I haven't, I've, or I haven't, I've not, or I haven't been to, Ooh, here, so sorry, okay, here. No, I haven't been to any good restaurant yet, yeah? Because remember that we use yet at the end of the sentence, correct? And we use already for affirmative before the main verb, which is in past participle because the structure is the present perfect tense, okay? Affirmative already, negative yet. The meaning is the same, yeah? Okay, or todavía, it depends on the context. But here, yes, I've already been to a good restaurant. Notice that for affirmative, we don't say any because any has a negative meaning. And then we say to a good restaurant. No, I haven't been to any good restaurant yet, okay? So this is affirmative, this is negative, full. Short, yes, I have, no, I haven't, okay? Questions or comments about this? Is that okay or, okay, if I make a mistake, please tell me because we're human beings, okay. So what about number two? Have you ever eaten lobster before? Have you ever eaten lobster before? The potential answers, class? No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, I haven't. Excellent. So in short answers, yes, I have, or in negative short, no, I haven't. Yes? Yes. And now let's see the full answer. Yes. I already. I've already, already. eaten uh, lobster. Lobster before, yeah. And what about negative? No, I, I haven't. Eaten. Lobster. Lobster yet. Mm -hmm. No, aún no he comido. No he comido todavía. O nunca antes, okay? And then for number three. Ah, but this is personal. Okay, number three and number four is according to your her. You describe your her. And you have the pattern. In number five, how many times have you lost your cell phone? Potential answers? Because it is about your 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 reality, okay? Yes, I have. No, how many times? Cuántas veces? Aquí no hay yes no question. Aquí es information question. Cuántas veces has perdido tu cell phone? Three times. Okay, very short. Three times. Time. Or another uh, short answer. Maybe. I. I have never, but it has been stolen. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> okay, very sad. So sorry. I have never um, lost my cell phone. Okay. Or only because it is how many times you have at the beginning, three times. Another potential answer, I have never lost my cell phone. Or you just answer, never. Yes? Another one? Another possibility? Mm. Uh, you may say many times, yes? Many times. Using the frequency words or frequency adverbs. Many times. Or mm, 
uh, three times. I have never lost my cell phone or never many times. Or you may say, I have uh, lost my cell phone many times, okay? And that's it. And then what about the keys? Potential answers for uh, how many times have you lost your keys? To open the door. Probably, okay? Tell me the potential answers. In affirmative? Maybe. I have lost one time. I have lost uh, the keys. Twice. Mm. Twice, okay? You may say twice, that's okay. Or you may say just once, una vez, or I lost my keys um, once. Or another yeah. one, never, okay? Or sometimes, yes? sometimes or there are some people who usually okay mm -hmm. oh yes or um well i have lost the keys twice or maybe in negative you say i have never lost the keys or my keys yeah but usually human beings will lost the keys okay frequently Next one, in number seven, have you ever driven a bus? Have you ever driven a bus? This is yes, no question, yeah? Have you ever driven a, a, a bus? I have Affirmative. Never, I haven't. The bus. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Or I have never driven a bus, yes? You may say, I have never driven a bus or yes I have Ooh, yeah. I is always with capital letter okay remember that yes I have or no I haven't simply no comma I haven't mm -hmm. or no I have never driven a car in full answers. No, I have never driven a car. Yeah. And bus. now in number, I, sorry, a bus because a car, yes. Later you're going to a bus. I think it is difficult. Or I don't know, you need to control it. Yeah, that machine. <laughs> it, it is my opinion. And now in number eight, we have, uh, how long have you lived with your parents? This is personal uh, answer, yeah? And you say, how long? Maybe you may say. Mm, I have lived with my parents uh, 23 years. For, for 20, 20 uh-huh. You may say, this is correct, the full answer. I have lived with my parents for 23 years, yeah? Or yes. in the contracted form, I've lived with my parents for 23 years, as you said, right? Or only 23 years or only for 23 years. And that's okay. No problem. 23 years or only for 23 years. Okay. And then in number nine, uh, how long have you listened to music? Mm. Maybe for one hour, for two hours, for two days, for two weeks, or I for have, a long time. I have listened to music for 45 minutes. To music, excellent, for 45 minutes. Excellent. But that is number nine, right? Okay. If you have a question or doubt, don't hesitate and ask the teacher. And what about number 10? 
Uh, how long have you practiced English? Practice, not studied. Practice. How long have you practiced English? You may say full answer. I've practiced English for one hour, 30 minutes. For one hour and uh, 30 minutes, right? Yes. Or you may say, I've practiced English for a long time. Yeah. I've practiced English for a long time. And here I'm going to write the apostrophe. Okay. I've practiced, I've. I've practiced English for one hour and three minutes or for a long time, or you may say another. Or uh, since, 20, uh, 20. since, okay, I've practiced, thank you for your answer, English since 2020, yes? And here we are using the two expressions we practiced yesterday for and since. Desde el 2020, and for one hour and 30 minutes. Very good. That is the intention, okay? To be feedbacking what we are doing every single day in classes. What about number 11? Have you ever spoken English with a native speaker? It is uh, affirmative. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. We. Yes, I have spoken English mm -hmm. once. very well with a native speaker. Or you may say, yes, once. I've spoken English with a native speaker once, yeah, or no, I haven't, or no, I've never spoken to a native speaker, with a native speaker, okay? So questions about this, uh, answers? No? No. Now let's continue, but orally, okay? Only to verify the, the answers. If I ask you, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? It is affirmative or negative, yes? Yes. Uh, have you ever traveled by plane? Yes, no question. It can be yes or no. Have you ever tried Cuban food again? It is yes, no question. Yes, I've already tried Cuban food or no, I haven't tried Cuban food yet. Yes? Have you finished the activities in the platform? Yes, yeah. I have, or no, I haven't. It depends on your case, okay? Uh, can we move to the breakout rooms in order to practice speaking? For you to practice, because you have been practicing reading, writing, listening to the teacher, and now it is the time for you to practice. Shall we? Yes? Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Now, class, it is the time for you to move to the breakout rooms so you can practice speaking, okay? Remember with your real information. Here we go. I'm opening the breakout rooms right now. Okay, please join your groups. and practice speaking. I need Jocelyn in group number one. Jocelyn, please. Thank you. Yes. Mm. La tenés ahí. 
Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ahí está. ¿Se puede ver, Max? Sí, va. Yes. yes. Absolutamente. Ok. Bueno, voy a ver si puedo. Vamos a compartir pantalla de copia. Dennis is going to share yes. the screen. Okay, we're going to wait for a while. Vamos a esperar un ratito a ver la, la imagen. Okay, la imagen de la casa de Dennis. Okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> no, pero sí ya, que sí ya se está. Okay. <laughs> Those things happen. Esto suele pasar. Can you see? Excellent, very well. Okay. okay. I'm going to ask you. Okay. Claudia, have you been to any food? Sorry, have you have you been to any good restaurant lately? No, I haven't. Dennis, have you been to any good restaurant lately? No, I haven't. Okay. And Dennis, have you ever eaten lobster before? Yes, I have eaten several times. Claudia, have you ever eaten lobster before? No, I haven't. And you, have you ever eaten lobster before? No, I have never eaten lobster before. Is it good? In this case, uh, I am in my 20s. And you, Dennis? 20? Dennis, are you in your 20s, your 30s, or your 40s? 20. 20s. I am in my 20s. And you, Claudia? I am in my 20s. Okay. I, I have short, curly, and... I have practice. I have practice. English, um, one or I have practiced English for one hour. For one hour. Mm -hmm. For one hour. Okay. Um, Jeremias, uh, have you ever? Spoke English while a native speaker. Spoke. No, I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't 
speak speaking speaking English spoken English with a native speaker. Native native, native. speaker. Native, native speaker. Native. <laughs> okay, uh, Jocelyn. Have you ever ridden in a motorcycle? Yes, I have. You have ridden a motorcycle, Miss. Wow, congratulations. Yes. I am afraid of that. Very well done. <laughs> Congrats. Let's continue. Adam, Adam, have you ever traveled by plane? No, I haven't. We traveled by plane. Jeremias, have you ever tried German food? Uh, no, I haven't. I have not uh, tried Cuban food. Uh, Jocelyn, have you finished the activities in the platform? Yes, I have. I have finished. Okay, teacher, no sé si está bien. ¿Cómo lo estábamos haciendo, teacher? Yes, that's okay. The only thing In that I... Three. Uh -huh. In, ah, yeah. question number three. And number four, did you complete these two sentences? Completaron esas dos oraciones, la tres y la cuatro. Yes? Oh. Okay, now it is the time for you. Because it is according to your reality. I am in my 20s or I am in my 30s, okay, depending on your age. Depende de su edad. Mm -hmm. Begin, maybe Jocelyn begins. I am in my 20s, 20s. Excellent. You may say 20s or 20s, no problem. Both are correct, okay? Uh, hello. I have black okay. things. Okay, uh, Adam, and you, what about you in number three? I am in my uh, three. Ferries. What? Ferries. I uh, am in my series. I am in my series. Okay, Jeremy. Jeremias. Uh, I am in my twenties. Now you have to describe your hair. Number four. I have black straight hair. Uh, long or short? Uh, short. Okay. I have a short black string hair. Straight hair. Jocelyn? I have curly brown hair. Short or long? Long. Long. Very well. Okay. And uh, what about the other ones? Did you ask and answer all the questions? Yes. You had the opportunity. Todos tuvieron la oportunidad de eh, leer las preguntas y de contestarlas. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Very well. Do you have any problem with the structures or with the pronunciation or with the meaning? No. Um, Remember, native, native speaker, native. Eleven. Have yeah, you ever spoken, 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 spoken English with a native speaker? A native. native speaker, yes. And number speak. eight. How long have you lived, lived Live. with? How uh, long you have you lived with your parents? How long have you lived with your parents? Okay. Okay. I have uh, lived with my parents for 20 years, for 25 years, for 30 years, for 35 years, for 40 years. Recuerden que ahora la gente vive con sus papás incluso a los 40 años. <laughs> yes or no, it is a new reality. Yeah. Oh my, I, 
All is, my life, you that's okay. All my life, you may say that also. Excellent answer. Very well. Another question? Um, uh, question one, have you been to have any you good been to any? Have you been to any good restaurant lately? Lately? Thank have you. you been to any good restaurant lately? Mm -hmm. Lately. Late, late, lately, 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 lately. Re repeat, lately. lately, lately, excellent, lately, okay, very lately. well, so the verbs are being, eating, eating, not eating, eating, porque si usted dice eating es con ing, y acá es participio pasado, eating, yes. okay, have you ever eaten lobster before, okay, now let's uh, get back to the main session room because we're going to ask and answer uh, different questions, okay, to the other partners. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Okay. And here we go. Let's Okay, let's wait for Claudia and Dennis. And here we go. I have some questions for you. So you try to construct one question for your partners. For example, if I say, uh, let me see. Adan, have you ever practiced uh, karate? Have you ever practiced karate? Adan, have you ever practiced karate? No, I... I have um, practiced, practiced it. Practice card. Or practiced it. Practice it. No, nunca lo he practicado. Practice it. Never. Okay. Practice. No, I've never practiced it. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn, have you ever uh, tried dancing mm, Zumba? Yes, I have. Oh, oh my God. Congratulations. Claudia, I have a question for you. Claudia. Okay, Claudia, have you ever cooked, have you ever cooked pizza? Cooked pizza. No, I haven't. Okay, excellent. Elisa. Pizza. <laughs> she only has eaten, but not only. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Eliseo. One question for you. Have you ever tried uh, singing uh, for your family? No, I've never. Okay, I've no, never. I've tried it. No, I've never tried it, okay? Dennis, one question for you. Okay. Dennis, okay. Have you ever, okay, have you ever traveled by bicycle? Okay, I have. Okay, Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, how many times, okay, how many times have you been to the mountains? How many times have you been to the mountains? How many times have you been to the mountains? Uh, I I never I never been in the in the mountains. I've never been to the mountains. Very well, excellent. And Eliseo, the last uh, the last question goes to you, Eliseo. Okay. okay. Have you ever uh, tried uh, swimming in a river? Have you ever tried swimming in a river? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, good. That is a, a good practice, okay? Because it is kind of risky for some people. Very well. And Miss Jocelyn, have you ever traveled uh, by ferry? Have you ever traveled by ferry? No, I haven't. 
Okay, excellent. Very well. Class, remember, tomorrow is our last meeting. So I need you to be here, okay? And if you, if you have a still pendants in the platform, finish it, okay? Thank you okay. so very much for being here. And I appreciate your attendance to the class and your participation, okay? I hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night. Enjoy. Good night. Okay, enjoy your day. Enjoy your family. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Jocelyn.